Right you. Where's my water? Alright, got my water. Got my pineapple. Alright, spam me what's until one of the triggers the word of the day. <laughs> so currently companions wise, who who are we hanging out with? Alright, we got a Puma and we got a, a freeze frog. <sighs> Unfortunately for us, while we can enter security doors. We have the issue here where this fall is a lethal fall and the elevator goes from the bottom up. So we cannot just ride the elevator down like I wanted. So we are still kind of screwed in the we have to. We have to do Golgotha like. The normal way. Which is not, not good for us. Another slumberling, just ignore him. Yeah, it's not good for anyone. <coughs> Professor Moonstare. Now that's a name I can get behind because that's what I would like to experience is the new content. I don't remember which shoot goes where anymore. I just know that this is a horrible, horrible place we're going to. A horrible, horrible place. Well, I just spawn space time vortices until one randomly drops you to bottom of Golgotha. Now that sounds like a plan. That sounds like a foolproof, error-free way to go about life. Yeah, they're random each time. Well, left, right, or middle. Uh, before I pop in, let me just take a little quest uh, catch up here. We got a couple of historical sites. Golgotha's our important one. We want to do it before we turn 18. Or 14. Uh, middle. Alright, right away. We're on conveyor belts. We know the vents are bad. Bad things come out of the vents. I did drink some honey last time, so we should still be alright on honey, but just to be safe. No reason not to take another, another little sip. Jet of Flames came out of that. Alright. Thank, thank you, Freeze Frog. That was a little scary. We're gooey. Yeah, we're trying to go down to the bottom where the cloaca hangs out. Alright, we've got a robot friend here. Just a normal drill bot. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little lazing on the drill bot. Well, in one step, he will be very close to me, so maybe we turn on our force bubble first. Alright, no robot. That's good, I guess. That's good. My friends are out there doing grim work. Just gonna let a few turns pass. They were killed by a gooey, salty, oozing, sludgy rust rustation. Goodbye, Ice Frog. I'll think of you fondly. All right. Now, was he beguiled or was he uh, convinced to join? Need to keep going? It's before all the millions and millions of little robot crabs start piling on, right? That's the main reason we want to go quick. Clairvoyance, help me out.
But Taco Suprema, wait. So now I don't have to teleport. What I want to know is whether or not my Puma is currently beguiled or if my Puma is proselytized. All right, it doesn't look like that we could get in by going up and left. Take the taco. Now, was the taco on screen? I just didn't see the taco. Or we just know there's a taco down here somewhere. There is a taco on screen somewhere? God damn it. Where was the taco? Up in the room? All right. Come on, Quillipede, die. Okay. What's going on, Gobber? Where is my Puma? I would like, I would like to have my Puma back. All right, we got a phase spider, spark tick, big old crab. Yeah, I, w I was gonna say, like, I don't think I see this taco. I saw an, I saw enemies. That should just be a poison cloud. No, it's corrosive gas. Well, we're gonna see if we beguiled our... Alright, good. I think that means, uh... I think that means we're alright. I hope. Uh, another Quillipede? It was a slug, alright, that's what I thought. I was gonna say, I, I feel like I would notice a taco. everything in this room. Intimidate. Where's my menacing stare? Let's get this guy to walk away. He's afraid of me. Good. Quillipede is injured. Temporal fugue the situation. There we go. Feeling better now that we have uh, a bunch of copies of me. Oh my god. I didn't do that. That means they can trigger it. Well, we've learned an important thing now. I wonder if other versions of me can get teleported away. Your friend crab, right? Yeah, come in. Don't. 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 Oh. Whew. That was... That was very close to me. All right, I don't think they breached the room, so I think we're okay. Let's just wait until we're nice and fully healed. <coughs> I just like the idea that some are out there. <coughs> A clone of us. Did, did the elevator get sucked in? Come on. My Puma wasn't listed as being dead. You know, I'm gonna stay in here until Fugue is ready again. Where'd you come from? Using black gel. Can they just infinitely come up that shaft? Do I need to be concerned about that? 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4... Ah, oh, you think they fell down from above. How did... There's a hole in the wall over here. I'm sorry, I just realized that was the sound of my switch. I forgot that I was, uh... 
pre-installing the new Zelda. Alright, well. Yeah, I just noticed the whole of the crab managed to join me through. I have harvestry. I should be harvesting these things. There we go, harvest. Alright, dread roots. Let's clairvoyance here. I guess we could just jump down that hole there, but I'm curious if there's anything exciting on the floor. Since we are here. <sighs> I just noticed we have uh, another space time rip next to me. Steaming vents, steaming vents. Alright, I think we got lucky and we just have steaming vents, not ticking vents. Yeah, Puma could have gone down a shaft. It could have been vortexed. Careful, crab. Oh, well, let's not shoot in the general direction of the crab. We've lost too many friends that way. Well, there he goes. He's decided to pick a fight with everybody. And he's gone. You know, I think it's time to go down the shaft. Yeah, Vortex might be a way out, if things go badly. Ow. Sludgy a ghoulfly. Mandible's wings jaundiced glow. Aw, oh, fuck off, Sewage Eel! Force bubble on. Yeah, I would like to beguile him, but he was doing a number on me. Let's go ahead and just take a little snacky poo. Alright, we're gonna go we're gonna beguile him. But we're gonna heal up a little bit first. Ah shit, you're right, we do have a sore throat. Yep. Sore throat. Honey didn't help as much as we had hoped it would. We'll check our book in a second. Beguile! Corpus Colas, help me out here. Where's Glot Rot? Complain of soreness of the throat as the tongue tissue begins to swell. Within a week, the muscle will soften and start to decompose. Common remedies. Yuckweed honey. Sometimes effective in reversing the necrosis they're administered in its early stages. Once the tongue is completely rotted away, only the scars... Right. Yeah, we want to keep on drinking honey. Fun. Have a sip. Delicious. All right, fly, come along. Whoa, never mind, fly, never mind. All right, we got three shafts there, so I guess we'll huck ourselves down those shafts. Drink honey every floor. Alright, we got another shaft going down right there. Careful, Fly. Are you sure you want to stand there, Fly? Are you sure you wouldn't rather maybe... Move? So fire, fire, fire.
Well, got a psychic down here somewhere. It would be cool if flying let you descend. Yeah, you could just skip this whole dungeon if you are flying, which is what I usually do. <clears throat> yeah, like I need something that would let me either fly or levitate. Yeah, Golgotha has some creepy and good music. All right. We got Spark Tick, Beetle Bum, Conveyor Bolts are going to the left, but obviously fire. Ooh! Force Bubble on! <laughs> Where's medicine? Eat the bloody oozing salty sludgy gooey which would bark. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a fugue moment for sure. Just gonna take advantage of the fact that I'm in a bubble. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, still steaming vents. Thank God. Where's my fly? My fly didn't come with me? A spitting slug. Hey! Don't think, just move. Alright, I think we're on the bottom floor now, which makes me feel a little bit better. Just want to take a moment to appreciate my situation. Take a sip of honey. Just a little sippy whippy. Well, I might as well kill this uh, angry slug in front of me. All right, bubbles down. Not what I kind, of, not really what I wanted. Uh, menacing stare, the goo. Shit, I I put my side window away. Ooh. <laughs> Who remembers the hotkey for bringing the? Uh, the list, <laughs> the uh, list of events back. Forward slash, thank you. Oh nope, no forward slash here. Hmm. So what's this character? This is a Esper. Only psychic powers. Completely stupid, dumb as a rock. There, thank you. All right. <coughs> Can't believe I shot my stupid fly. <coughs> We're gonna beguile a jelly. This one is in good condition, perfect condition, badly wounded. Brown gel. We'll take the uh, the one directly in front of me. Welcome to the party. Oh, and no, he's impervious to our charms. That's bad. Well, if he can't be beguiled, it's pointless to try and proselytize him. My bubble and my fugue are both on cooldown. Uh-oh. We're gonna be fine, we're gonna be fine! Yeah, no, we, we don't know how to cook. At all. Our character is too stupid. Too stupid to cook. Two mutation points. Can't buy any new ones. 
We do have 212. We're not quite there yet. I want... I want inspiring presence. Am I better off lazing or gunning the slimes? Or am I better off just kind of sprinting to get some distance? We are in a bad place. I mean, I'm gonna use skills because if we can get sucked into a vortex, that's that's a legitimate way to get out of this problem. Hold on, one of them is almost dead. So for that one, we'll laze. That's one down. Okay, hear me out. All right. Find the slug. You know, you have a point. Can't get much worse. We're already sick. Boop, boop, boop. How far away? We're 26 turns away from Bubble. So we're looking for Slug. Oh shit. Oh no! Alright, Beguile the Crab at the very least. Twelve turns. Right now, our adventure is we're trying to find... Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Oh. <laughs> and we're okay. We're okay. Oh my god. Woo. That was a little scary. We didn't get Slog of the Cloaca, but we could still try to get Slog of the Cloaca. We have the elevator now, so we could take the elevator down. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. That crab, I think, was a big component of why we're still alive right now. Uh, I'm trying to think. Where would a good place be for getting something that'll cure an illness, since we are too stupid? We're too stupid to... cook. Is... Mushroom Town? Is Mushroom Town a place that usually is a recipe that does some good healies? Can't remember the name of that place. I'll have another sip of honey. No, don't pour. Don't pour the honey. Drink the honey. Delicious. Okay. That all sucked. That place is a scary place. Golgotha is a scary place. I get hit of grit gate real fast. Finish the quest and get Yuckweed to grit gate. Okay, grit gate can help us out. Install a cell. Boom. Have you completed the task? Ah, oh, shit. We're supposed to repair this robot, aren't we? Doo -doo -doo. Wait a minute. Oh, good. Eat the yuckweed even if you can't cook. Help against the glot rot. So I probably shouldn't try and repair this. Oh good, we could do it. Never mind. Hey buddy, yeah, I did it! Oh. 
Yeah, we still just have a sore throat. We're not... Oh, wow. We just picked up a lot of stuff. A lot of weird artifacts. Eat the porch. Plus three save versus disease. Whenever you eat an unfermented yuck wheat, you release an electrical discharge. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, metabolizing. All right. This is our best bet. Is, is hoping that this cures it before things get out of hand. We had uh, Psychic Interlopers spawn on this map when I was on the outside the first time we came here. And obviously they got gunned down pretty, pretty fast. Take all the things from these chests. Thank you kindly. Why not? Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, damn, they're sleeping. Sometimes when the bears are not in their rooms, I go in, I close the door, and I steal everything. Don't you dare steal from these bears. I always steal from these bears. I will die for these bears, but I'll always steal from these bears. They wouldn't have dropped that much. Interloper must have killed a Barathmite. It's only human corpses over here. Human corpse? Human corpse. No bear corpses, no bear blood? That's true, we have psychometry. Feels good to have psychometry. Let's find out, shall we? Tonics. We got some skulk injectors, a blaze injector. And now for all the other ones. Sludge stains freezing sturdy steel longsword. Hulk honey injector. Urban Ostrom Injector. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Love Injectors. Nice. Small Sphere of Negative Weight. Oh, thank God. Salve Injectors. My favorite. Stabilizer Arm Lock Implants. Two of them. Skill Soft Akimbo. Optical Techno Scanner Implants. Medassist Module Implant? Pneumatic Piston Implant? I'm starting to think that the people that died over there, the two humans, were not sightless white people. It seems like, was this maybe a bug? Like Templars maybe sp <laughs> spawned in? Pneumatic Pistons? Rapid Release Finger Flexors? Make some progress understanding the weird art. Hey. That means this one. Oh, there it goes. Navigation system implant. Yeah, they're all implants. Reactive trauma plate. And two fix-it spray forms. Man. <clears throat> Metasys module. Navigation system. Optical techno scanner. Nomadic pistons. Would have been real cool if we were playing a true, true kin human. Temple over the Thrall, that was a bionic merchant? Like, maybe. Like, there's a lot... A lot of implants. Implant sounds like a bear. I don't think the bears... have implants? And again, the only corpses over here are human bodies. Human corpse. Human corpse. It's a lot of free money. A lot of free money. I was kind of hoping for some cells, but whatever. This is fine, too. Remove the cell from that. Remove the cell from that. Give me some more things to identify. And a small cube replace. Remove. 
Yeah, like the the bears, I don't believe ever have implants. They're not humans. Examine high capacity chem cell. Ah, oh, yeah. And a solar cell. Cool, cool, cool. Very nice. Very nice. Take the cell to this one. Yeah, like they have a, a becoming nook. Which I always think is a little funny because they can't use becoming nooks, but still. They got it, just in case, I guess. Welcome to Grit Gate. I'm Otho, Baratham Steward. I apologize for the manner of our introduction, but we must take precautions. Cod is a very unforgiving place. I am pleased to see that you've returned with the way droid, though you still know little of the dangers you bear. Take this firearm as your reward. It bears the mark of our finest gunsmith, Sparafusil. Return when you're ready to discuss the signal. Uh, yeah, thanks, I will return. Masterwork scoped carbine, masterwork scoped chain pistol. I will take the masterwork scoped carbine, thank you very much. Also, your thirst is mine, my water is yours. Villagers of Tumur like me a little bit less. Cragmensch like me a little bit less. And again, Tumur. <laughs> man, the people of that village don't like this man. Item mod morphogenic, useless to me. I could learn tinkering, which is unimportant to me now. I don't, at least I think. Maybe with tinkering, you know what? Tinkering one means I could make. I could make a uh, salve injectors if I can get the recipe. That's not too bad. I would just need one other thing, and that is uh, <laughs> the ability to scrap things. Unless tinkering comes with that, I can't remember what the, the thing looks like. I'll take a moment to think about it, but that's a good option for us, I think. Live and drink, water brother. A tinkering one needs 23 ints. I feel like if we learn it through this, we're okay, because um, I'm able to harvest, right? I can harvest plants. And I didn't learn it by putting points into anything. I learned it by, you know, trading reputation. So harvestry, I'm pretty sure that required 15 intelligence. I could still do it regardless. Like, we lack the stats to learn these things on our own, but other people can teach us. So <laughs> reputation's kind of important when you're stupid. Yeah, I want Inspiring Presence, that's what I'm saving up for. You know what, I will in fact learn Tinker- well, hold on, hold on. <laughs> kind of curious about Tinkering 1. Tinkering. So he will teach me... Oh, that's only gonna give me Gadget Inspector, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, like, the idea is we hope we find people that teach us skills. Building, repairing, modding. So if he only teaches me tinkering, that wouldn't be super great. Tinker 1 would be what I want. So what are you teaching? Tinkering. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's actually helpful to me. Yeah, we want Tinker 1. I don't think Tinkering... I don't think Tinkering would help very much. Because our, our psychic ability to know the history of objects kind of does that for us. Anyway, here's like some secrets, just to get my rep up a little bit higher. And... let's go ahead and start. Yes! The signal is a repeat transmission being broadcast from an unknown source. A tinker must have detected it and recorded onto the data disk you brought us. However, we've known about it since it went live over a year ago. 
One of our tankers, Q Girl, discovered it while rigging a long wave detector. Unfortunately, it's encrypted, and we do not have the means here to decrypt it. You may be of some help in this matter, however. We've long known the location of a fully functioning beetle within the bowels of the Great Hall Bethesda Susa. The mechanists have consecrated the site around it and built a temple there. Q Girl claims to have uh, developed a means to decrypt the signal, but she needs the computing power of the beetle. If you can infiltrate the Mechanimus compound, you may be able to engage the beetle and decode the signal. A beetle's a little robot! Alright, yes, I will do it. Good apprentice, speak to Q-Girl in the workshop. Alright, I'll do it, Stuart. What is our Mechanimus rep at the moment? Might go throw more garbage. We're at 277, we are favored. Aggressive ones won't attack you. You're welcome in their holy places. All right, so we're good. We're good on the Mechanimus. That's very important. Very important. Save the rep. You can burn it when we need to negotiate with the consortium. That's true. We will have to... <laughs> we'll have to deal with the plant politics. All right, all the bears are asleep. Very... Very inconvenient. Doo -doo. Oh, an empty room. Oh, no. This robot's in the room. Damn it, robot. Live and remain ever restless. Just had to be... Just gonna take a little peek. Oh, God. Why do they have raw bear meat in their chest? That's gross, dude. Why is this dude sleeping on the floor? He's in the doorway asleep. I could steal copper nuggets, but like, that's ten. Ten water's worth. Not that useful. Oh, you're, you're going to work? <gasps> Don't mind me. Just gonna take a little peek. Forkhorned Helm. Weapon class short blades. Uh, let's us headbutt people. Unfortunately, it doesn't give me a reputation with the Hindren who hate me. Only look to see what's in your neighbor's bowl to make sure they have enough. Enough bear meat. Cannibals. A blaze injector. Yeah, nothing here terribly worth, uh, worth doing a theft over. Hello, sir. Jacobo? Jacobo? What do you got to trade? Bunch of data disks. Nothing too exciting here. Create salve injector. Requires Tinker 1. What a bummer. I might actually, I think, just in case we could eventually get what we need to make that happen. I will buy the recipe for Salve Injector. Salve Injector is always very nice to have. I've already raided the medical lockers, yes. 129. I will give you, uh... This implant here. And you'll give me 9 drams of water. Well, she got laser rifle, step sewers. You don't need to. You are you are the recipe. Oh shit! Is that right? Can I just look at tonics real fast and be like, yes, I now know how to do it. Look. I have plenty of money. It's not a problem. Do, 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 do. Psychometry. Unerringly identify objects up to complexity tier 7. Learn how to construct identified objects up to complexity tier 4. Must have the appropriate tinker power. Alright. I didn't need to do that. <laughs> That's fine. 
You know, it's it's a fine, it's fine, it's no problem. Just a little waste of money. Come on, slow down, bear. What do you have? Lead slugs, forty-one of them. Maze beard glen, crushed gla grave moss. How you doing, pal? Just had dinner with shrimps. Ah, delicious shrimps. How you doing? Just talking to my bear friends. Wake spare if you seal up. Trade. Only 41. Check with a lead slug. You should learn how to make one. How do we do it? Ammo. Lead slug. Drop, equip, equip, mark important, look, add note, show effects, so look. Uh, maybe without Tinker 1, it's not going to let us learn how to do it just yet. Equipment, inventory, catch, sheets, skills. Yeah, maybe without the Tinker 1. Wait, maybe we just straight up need tinkering. And then we can worry about Tinker 1 later. I mean, for a hundred rep. My problem right now is a streamer I watch is playing Elden Ring, and now I want to play Elden Ring. And this is a bad time to want to do that. I always want to play Elden Ring, and I have to fight off the weird urge. Do it. Just play. You can just stop randomly when Zelda comes out. Alright. I'm going to learn Tinkering just to see if it helps us out. This is a learning experience as well as a playthrough. Alright, we lose a hundred rep, but we learn how to tinker. Pop an inventory and look at lead slug. Now we have access to learn early history with psychometry. You learn to build lead slugs, so that's... That's what was important. That was the critical part. Interesting. Things I would like to learn how to make. Uh, tonics, obviously. Read early history. I now know how to make urban ostrom injectors. Skulk injector. Now I know how to make skulk injectors. That makes sense, then. You need tinker. Good to know. Yeah. Like I said, always learning. Always learning. We know how to make salve injectors. Love injectors. Hulk honey injectors, and... Blaze injectors. You can learn every cell in injector, yeah, yeah. Chem cell? High capacity chem cell. Nope, can't do high capacity. Must be a higher complexity than four. Masterwork Scope Carbine. Now I know to make that tool. You could probably learn negative... Oh yeah! <laughs> Sphere of negative weight. Artifacts too complex. Well, no. Can't figure that one out. I only know cells and injectors because like a normal person, you just eat bananas to learn what psychology. Well, I'm a psychic, so I learned this way. I do have a point I could spend. I mean, I feel like ego is where I want to put it. But we could put it into intelligence. So, tinkering and gadget inspector we got. We now need to learn Tinker 1. We need to find someone in the world that will teach me Tinker 1. If anyone knows if there's, like, a, a normal spawn that always happens that does that, let me know. Otherwise, it's just gonna be... We're gonna... We're gonna travel this world looking for it. No int. Int could let you cook. Cooking requires 15 int, man. It would take so long. What are we at now? 12? 12? Three more points to cook. <laughs> no cook, only eat. 
I feel like the fun of the character is uh, <laughs> being dumb as a rock, but really being full of ourselves. <coughs> Take a one could be a random spawn. <laughs> yeah, the hope. Hopes we find a random spawn. Point an ego, baby. And in two more levels, I can get a new psychic ability. Fucking Mayor Nuntu can teach you how to cook. Oh my god, that's right. Oh my god. That's where I want to go next, Steven. Did I talk to Q Girl yet? I don't think I have. You're spare if you see. Where's Q Girl? Q Girl. Wait, where the fuck is Q Girl? There you are. Do 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 do. You have a method for decoding the signal. I do, brave friend. I'll imprint them now. Yeah, quest completed. People love watching Mayor Nuntu cook. You're the quintessential dumb blonde. Dumb psychic blonde. Thank you very much. All right, before I head off into the wild blue yonder. Masterwork scoped carbine. Multiple shots, multiple projectiles. Scoped has increased accuracy. It's masterwork, so it crits more often. So it's a little bit lower accuracy, but with the scope on there, it might make up for it. So maybe we swap over to using this bad boy. Masterwork is a car rifles unequipped. Do, do, do. Since we do have a, a recoiler for this place, I'm going to go ahead and put a chest down here. Because these people often have good trade goods, too. So we can uh, ditch some heavy stuff here. Miner's helmet, molly netting. Just a... Actually, books, we know where we want to take the books. Your sweaty, overworked body. Drop all the implants here. Books are experience points. That's that's where those are going. Uh, hold on to one stun rod. Uh, two recoil revolvers rather. I leave here. I'll take one electro bow with me. Other carbide could stay here. Droid Scrambler, Shinip and Gridgate Recoilers. Alright, that's good enough. Leave that stuff here. Carry? <laughs> I guess that would be carry. Gonna gather the cure for Glot Rot? Ah, oh, shit, we still have a sore throat. We're still metabolizing the meal, so we're not that bad off. We're gonna gather the cure for Glot Rot just in case. I guess I think the plan's going to be we're going to head toward Mayor Nuntu who's going to teach us cooking. Or you could have glot rot. Shit. <laughs> Wait, did that say whip up a meal? I, I shouldn't have whip up a meal option. I'm too stupid for that. Yeah, I don't have meal prep. Alright, let's go hang out in Mushroom Town, because those those folks might be able to help us out right now. Before we become very, very ill. Hello, chest. Just in front of the door. Uh, I guess I could recoil. Whip a meal everyone has, okay. Up, oh, yes. Up, up, up we go. Yeah, Glorot's not too bad when your tongue rots out of your face. Pass by. Smell roasted boar nearby. Would you like to investigate? You discover Yumid Ra, Goat Folk Village. Ah, shit. Goat Folk Village. 
Screw that. And we got lost right next to the goat folk village. I don't have any buddies yet. Hello? Why did you turn blue? Massive horns, molly netting carbide dagger. Alright, he's time dilated. Welcome to the team. Please help me. Enough time has passed. Eat and drink. What kind of name is that? Goku Village to be ba ra or bust. Mm -mm. Yeah, I noticed the red guy. Have another sip of honey. Goatfuck are a little scarier than I remember. Oh, Beguile's on 26 turn cooldown. Bubble! Fuck, son. A saw hander? Fuck this! I'm out! You can play with all of my friends while I run away. Ow. This is looking very bad. Very bad. Let's take a really good healing item. Sprint. Yeah, he's a soul drinker. He was taking health from us. I still got my bubble. Yeah, I've never seen that outside of Maman either. Fight back, clones! Gorilla, go fight for me. Okay. Sprint's on cooldown, Fugue's on cooldown, we have Beguile back. I would love to have that dude work for me, but I am actively afraid of him right now. Okay. Beguile is, is ready to go. And Forest Bubble's ready to go. I could try... I could try and get him on my team. He would be a very powerful companion. If he resists Beguile, I'll die. But we have Forest Bubble now. Out of curiosity. Range of one. That's the problem. We have to be right next to him. Defenders, mental armor, and character level. Just run to berate him first. I'm more concerned with, like, surviving long enough to even do that. I might try and find a Prostolize companion. Somebody we could have to draw a little aggro. I suppose once Temporal Fugue is ready in 28 turns, that could be all we need. Hello. I would love to proselytize, proselytize you. Uh, first, let me tell you how ugly you are. The words, they shame him. And now let's proselytize you. Okay, we got a companion. Uh, 
That's true. Few could kill him off. I mean, honestly, if we kill him, that's fine. Like, that's a different kind of victory. One where we survive and we don't have to be too afraid. Oh god, you're not a fire ant, are you? Just a worker ant. Okay. You suck at a lot of things. Be my friend. Okay, what what's my my buddy's name? Goat Folk Bully. Come along, Goat Folk Bully. I'm trying to remember if he was on the top screen or the bottom screen. Yep, there he is. There's Nararana Soul Drinker. Braid of roasted frog skin stretched taut over her swollen pectorals and fastens a satchel to her hip. Her hooves are stained with naphtali blood. Spittle flies from her bleeding mouth into a tuft of hair beneath her chin. Disliked by roots for repeatedly beating them at dice? Hated by trees for eating one of their young. And of course, the villagers of Alawar because she impersonated their leaders. Massive horns, stinger, molly netting, two-handed carbide battle axe, steel gauntlets. Hop down a screen. Gun the Naftali down. Hey, bud. Fuck you, frog. Beguile. Oh my god. <laughs> You're my friend now. I would like to talk to you. All right, go folk like me a little less, a little better now. That's helpful. Screw roots, screw trees. They all hate me anyway. Alawar will have to fix at some point. I know this person might live for a while. All right. We can learn butchery from them. The only sad part is she has three negatives. Would have been a good kill. It would have helped with a lot of factions, yeah. Love how you just water ritual everyone, regardless of social... Yeah, just become friends, worry about the implications later. Here's the location of the town that's directly above us on the map. And also, here's a town you could ransack if you want. Alright, live and drink. Engraved, scale, steel, shield. Let me look at that bad boy. Throughout the entirety of 3337BR, Shatafa laid waste to all of Surchimer, shattering all the glass in the homes of insects and trees. She became known as the Surchimer Terror. Terror. Got a quest out of it, that makes me happy. Live and drink. Direct to use abilities. Life drain, sting, time dilation. Nice. Meanwhile, I run from trivial legendaries because I don't want the robot faction. <laughs> want to be friends with the robots forever? Oh my god, I got a posse now. We have a sower, a bully, a bully, a horn blower. These guys, no one can tell me where the fuck I am, though? Chat. Grah, what is it? Let's trade. Live and drink? No, no one can tell me where the hell I am. Cool, I guess. Well, let's go, team. Well, might as well get all these bullets. Isakari rifle. Shit sure about Henry Kissinger not being alive? Is that which would? No, just a bloody tree. I wonder, will all the goat folk on the screen be friendly now if I hit auto explore? Is there really no no concern? Our posse's not following me at the moment. 
There we go. It looks like they're following it. A saw hander. Now the saw hander is a problem. Why are there multiple saw handers? Go get him, team. Gonna let you guys handle the saw hander. You're doing great work. Shame about Henry Kissinger being so alive still. <laughs> Sometimes bad people live a long time. I think my brain didn't fully process what I read a second ago. Still waking up. The lair of... Nanakutalamas. Legendary Naftali Runt. Listen, you guys don't like Naftali, so, uh... Let's ransack this joint. <laughs> oh. It's a legendary baby! I- I feel bad having this many... This many goat folk just... Posseing up with me. Uh... I would like to clean myself off. Choose where? Uh, yeah, this brackish water should be fine. To be fair, the run will probably level really quickly. Why'd we stop? Slowest auto explorer. Careful, careful, don't want to shoot all of my friends. No, no, we got a guy in front of us, careful. Corrected vision, we still have a sore throat. No time like the present to have a little sip of uh, honey, I guess. They have a confusion sting? Nice. Oh, Naftali, you're so not scary. What we got here? Shrine to Shatafa the First, spouse of Jarl Tabush. In a cathedral ornamented with boots, Shatafa cemented her friendship with flowers by marrying Jarl Tabush. In honor of the union, the flowers bestowed upon Shatafa a wedding gift they called Delightgya, Flowers Gift. Ooh, Confusion and Berate Stack. That's nice. <coughs> You'll have to see Jarl Otto Bush in Whiterun. <coughs> Just wreck it up the joint here. Beetle bomb. Lays you. We good? An enemy goat folk. Unexpected. Naftali runt. Come on, just everybody be dead. Just want to auto explore. So many people I have to kill. All right, team, don't don't wake up, don't wake up the slumberling. Let's be smart here. Uh, no chest or anything. Auto explore. There should be a special setting just for ignore slumberlings when auto exploring. They're never low level, so ignore low level won't help out there. I guess eventually they will be, comparatively, but... Uh, 
Ow. Ow. Stupid ivories. Oh, that's what I get. That's what I get for clicking the walk fast button. Son of a bitch. Almost died. Almost died. Salve inject. Which hopefully won't. And then bubble. Fuck, man. I just wanted to walk quickly. Whew. All friends? All friends. God damn. Almost dead means still slightly alive. Alive enough. Never run in the jungle. That's what I've learned. Never fucking run in the jungle. You got a rocket launcher. We're much too weak for that. Oh, it's a chain gun. Even better. Read history. It's a cell received. Sower Seed is a little scary. All of our clones will now have access to four. Four of those! I do love chain guns. You guys want to go murder a bunch of Naftalis? Just, just for funsies? Psychic Presence. Can we get lucky with Clairvoyance and randomly spot our, our psychic opponent? Yeah, never run unless you have four legs, ten arms, and attack eight times for a billion damage. Or, if, like, you know for a fact that you are perfectly safe. Because you can see the whole screen. Slimy OU Extra Dimensional Albino Ape and Esper from the All-Seeing Society of Symbol. Native to the dimension known as the Lacuna of Steel. Equip the chain gun and then fugue. That'd be a lot of bullets. So I believe that is our, uh, psychic interloper. There exists a dimension known as the Lacuna of Steel. You note this piece of information in the Gossip and Lore section. Well, you know what? Goodbye. The sound effect made me think I opened a rift, but no, it's just that he teleported. Your companion has been sucked into the space time vortex. What the fuck just happened? Sweet Jesus, all of my my buddies have gone back to being angry with me. Go up the stairs. Well, force bubble on. We kept our one friend. Let's leave now. Let's leave now. It's a dimension of Lacuna Coils, everyone's favorite band. I hope everyone enjoyed our very cool companion for the ten minutes we got to have him. So, what happened is... You borrow a channel through the Psychic Aether to the man. Yep, we sunder his mind. He takes 10 damage. He disappears. Tangled Mudroot is sucked into a space-time vortex. I can't tell if I opened one or if he teleported and opened one. I sunder his mind again. Electrical arcs are leaping out at stuff. Electrical arcs, electrical arcs, electrical arcs. A lot of electricity shooting around. And then he gets sucked into a space-time vortex. A lot of stuff going on.
And then he dissipates into the aether. Cool. I'm fleeing from a goat folk horn bear a blower. Almost die. I run away from him. And now I'm still running. Things got a little, uh, a little hectic over there. And I still have a sore throat. I return, I'm sundering and has a chance to proc, it looks like. Yeah. Ugh. At the very least, I'll have another... Another good folk buddy, I guess. Lays him. Lays him. Friend? Friend. <laughs> yeah, it was fun while it lasted. Not very long, though. Not very long. Oh, there he goes. Fuck you. Always have someone on our team. That's the plan. I can't believe we lost him already. What a shit show. Stupid quantum jitters. Would having astrally burdened buddy help keep them from falling into space-time vortexes? If we get, like... Ontological anchors, I think that might keep them from going sucked to the vortices. You discover a goat folk village. Ah, cool. Said no one ever. God damn it. Just gonna hug the top of the screen for easy escaping. Oh. That is a well, though. We could steal all their water. All right, berate this guy. And then proselytize him. Died in an explosion because of our other friend who just hucked a grenade right at him. Is Beguile ready to go again? Guy, why would you do this? Stop throwing grenades! No regard for anyone. Is it gonna be a grenade fight? <gasps> They're just hitting each other. Ow. Ow! Go ahead and have a nice, uh... Where's medicine? Nice witchwood bark. One more point to go, but... I can, in fact, get my... Big boy, inspiring presence. Shotgun shells. Carbide longsword, Issachar rifle. Cool, cool, cool. By Beguile. Two people now. How's my water situation? I have an empty water skin. Is this not fresh water here? It's fresh water. Collect liquid. Yeah. Nice. Hell, I mean, collect more liquid. Is 
Is it all fresh water or is one of them filled with like bloody water? Probably doesn't count as fresh water if it's bloody water. Whatever. It's fine. Well, it looks like they're off to fight something. Yeah, he bled all over it, ruining some perfectly good water. <coughs> Alright, only friends. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Finally. Take, take. Let's go, team. Let me pillage this place of all of its treasures. Oh, never mind, more treasures. Compass bracelet. Wait, a compass bracelet? Oh my god! Quip! I would say that currency you need to eat is a dumb idea, but really it's just like money with fewer steps. Yeah. Like, water being a precious resource, and therefore used as currency, is, is fine by me. Still lost, goddammit. It's kind of like uh, Metro with the, the bullets are currency system. All right, goat folk, you you fight whoever you see. Let's continue getting out of here. Let's be careful not to shoot our buddies. So let's laze this man. Worst idea for currency? Hmm. What would be the worst possible currency? Probably, like, something biological. Like a body function or something. Blood. Reputation of the villagers increased! And flowers like me better! Snail. Encrusted, reinforced, sturdy ring mail. Teeth? Yeah, yeah, that'd be a bad one. At the Battle of Mimish Grotto, you met fought as a mercenary, the subjugate Beatles. He wielded a fortuitous hammer with such artfulness that it became forever known as Fortuitous, the Woe of Beatles. Blood, 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 and bits of sick. Compound bow, snail encrusted ringmail. Blood's better than water. You think so? Like, in this world, water is, like, rare. <laughs> you could make more blood. That causes inflation. That's how we got into this mess in the first place. This item's crawling with tiny snails. Grants the wearer 250 reputation with mollusks. That might be enough reputation with mollusks that we can just walk up to. Slug. All right, weight-wise, what's holding me back? Backwards feet is not my fetish. Only forward-facing feet? Chain gun weighs 40. Oh, boy. But now I know how to make chain guns. <laughs> 